we use uh, an industrial controller. We've got three options. We have Syntec, Fagor, and Fanuc. If you have a preference, uh, we can accommodate any of those three. Uh, maybe you've got a budget constraint, or maybe it's just that you have an entire floor of people that are trained on one uh, methodology. Um, and so we have options, you know, it's our goal that we don't want to fight you. If, if you already have a whole staff that knows how to do something, we get it, that's fine, you know, because there's a cost to you having to retrain them on something different. With that said, we only use an industrial style controller. The benefits just far outweigh the cons um, of using a PC-based controller, for instance. Uh, typically, the price is a little higher, um, but there's so many advantages, whether it's um, look-ahead algorithms or the processing speed of the controller, being able to easily uh, control things like origins, um, cutter compensation, there's bi-directional lead screw compensation, which is just a really fancy way of saying that you can laser the machine in both directions um, and just take out any kind of physical impurities of um, that machine. And this should be done on really any machine that's uh, 60, 70,000 and up. Um, it really should be done. And so, you know, for us, it's one of those things where we want to make sure that the base of the machines is as capable as possible so that we can accept these additions through the controller itself. Although we've got industrial controller setups, we have it um, over an ethernet cord to a PC and the PC is just showing you what that industrial controller is doing. And so the advantage is you're able to interact with that industrial controller that is still its own dedicated um, component and you can interact with it just like you would in Windows. And so you can use the touch screen and you can use a mouse and a keyboard and you can drag files into um, Windows in a file explorer mode, just like you're used to seeing. You have a tremendous amount of power, but it's connected with uh, something that's really very simple to use and very easy to train on. I would say probably 70% of all people that buy our machines have never used a machine before, a CNC. And in those three days, and really after the first day, they're starting to, to move the machine, press buttons, load programs, etc. And it just makes it so much easier. You're not having to memorize um, a tremendous amount of different operations. It's important to note too, and this is kind of a bit in the future piece, but because the controllers have got displays that are all HTML, um, it's very exciting to think of how you can edit that interface to make it easier to work with. You know, we could roll out an update and we could literally change how people interact with that controller. And all they would do is download a file, we would show them how to upload it, and now the whole thing is, is new. So they don't have to change hardware, nothing like that. And so there's, there's just a tremendous amount of possibility with how we have our setup configured now that allows for a lot of future expansion and also just ease of use in general.